They are hard to miss. They are creatures that we battle with all the time. They have a powerful bite. They are capable of killing both people and animals. They are tiny, but attack in great numbers. They are ants. Ants are a very intriguing creation of God. On the surface they appear to be small and insignificant, and yet, the Bible says there are so many important lessons to be learned from them. These creatures are very small but with the huge wisdom. When you observe very well, you will see that the ants march in two different directions, inwards and outwards, and as they move together in lines to carry pieces of food items, some could be food crumbs left by people or little bones of fish and other items. They gather all this food in their storage house during summer. And when winter or rainy season comes they will stay indoors and enjoy their labor. Ants know there are seasons and are not fooled into thinking the present situation is permanent. The most amazing part is how they get to know it's summer and so they should store up some food to face winter or rainy seasons. No one tells them, but with their wisdom, they are able to do that. Ants prepare ahead of time. Ants have a time to rest and a time to work. Today many of us are chasing celebrities and big men in our societies and countries to learn their ways, but the Bible said to go to the ants. The ants are very disciplined, although they have no central leader, they love themselves, they care for each other, and are ready to die for themselves. There is nothing like greediness among them. Together they work, and together they enjoy the fruits of their works. The wisdom of ants is hard to comprehend by people. Though they have tiny bodies at least they can carry food items ten times heavier than their bodies. Caring, we must learn from the ants how they want each other successful by showing support to help anyone who is in need. If you wish your friend good, then surely good things shall come unto you as well. They are ever ready to die for each other and the Bible tells us that there is no love greater than for one to lay down his life for his friends. They are wise enough to know that a time will come that would be difficult for them to get food or march searching for food, building ants cities, and so forth, so they prepare themselves by storing up food in their room. In the future when winter comes or rainy seasons come, they wouldn't be in any trouble. So, I and you have to know that it is good to invest our future lives into something profitable to help us feel secure in the future, we shouldn't wait for a catastrophe to hit us before we take a step. Have you noticed that, when an obstacle is put in front of an ant, say a rock or a deep crater, they do not sit down and dissolve into a session of self-pity. When circumstances block their path, they simply keep going. So don't ever give up. Think about it, have you ever seen an ant fruitlessly tugging on something that it cannot move? There is no evidence to support that ants overdo it and put out their backs or suffer from emotional exhaustion. Ants know their limits. Ants do not take on tasks that they cannot handle. If a load is too big to handle alone, the lone ant signals to the others that it needs help. Sometimes it takes a lot of ants to move that bread crust. Why don't we do more of this? Ants are team workers and work together in order to achieve something great. Likewise, in order for you to achieve something substantial in life, you must align yourself with others who can help propel you to another level. If an ant loses its way back to the nest, it does not live long. Like ourselves, the ant is a highly socialized creature that depends on its place within the whole. We need each other in this earth that we walk upon. So please don't thug on that bread crust alone. And don't watch someone else do it either. Let's be like the ants and make reciprocity and a strong sense of community the new norm. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to get new video updates.